I think I, I, I wound up seeing about 185 movies this calendar year, and I did that because I, I was basically seeing everything. You know, I, I was going over to the city a lot, but I was seeing a lot of the commercial movies, sometimes two, three, four at a time in any given day, and I was able to amass that total of movies. And I would say, out of those 185 movies, I would, in many ways, agree with the Marquis de Sade of movies, Jason, uh, in saying that probably 130 out of those 185 movies were totally and completely uh, forgettable, forgettable movies. But it's worth seeing movies for those 50 movies that during the course of the year made an impact. He never shows his age. So you just gotta do that. The audience is full of the people cut. Now, just to let you know, DVDs, 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 all of this here. Uh, Saving Private Ryan Hall. was the best film of last year. Costume design, Sleepy Hollow. You are costume. Right? I'm coming up. Okay. Costume design is going to go to Anna and the King, uh, in my opinion. And I read, yeah, I, I think it's going to win. American Beauty is a sort of inverse blue velvet. It shows the seedy side of American suburbia, but it does so very powerfully and very affectionately in that. The, f the narrative of the film develops valid emotion that in the final scenes of the film, especially when Annette Benning goes into the closet and grabs the hangers hey, after, hey, her, hey, hey. after her You're husband... Giving it away. I haven't seen this picture yet. He's asking my opinion of it. I'm sorry. I'm, all right. And, and that uh, there, there's, there's truly an emotional scent of this film with resonance. I should, I should I should Man, get any bigger. And I go, oh my god, I think he swallowed that bottle. <laughs> Answer that phone. Come on. <laughs> I'm getting Sam at all. It's everybody's hard. ignoring the phone. <coughs> Three. Magnolia. Four. Who's got the envelope? I can't remember. So I don't think I can read it right. I can't read it either. You wrote it, Jack. Yeah, well, I don't have my glasses. Do we? <laughs> yeah, the end of the affair. Um, five is Cider House Rules. No, five is Green Mile. Yeah, but I changed it. Five is Cider House Rules. Six is uh, Election. Seven is um, Six Cents. Six Cents. Eight is Eyes Wide Shut. Nine is the Cider House Rules. No, that's that's the Green it's Mile. The Green Mile. And ten is um, it's the, you can't see it. There's no light here. Mumford. Um, go. Go. And Fight Club. Three is the Cider House Rules. Four is all about my mother. Five is the end of the affair. Six is the straight story. Seven is topsy turvy. Eight is the Fight Club. Nine is the dinner game. And ten is the superbly written film Election. I really didn't care for the Green Mile. No. This does not include the Cider House Rules. There was a mistake in the printing. All right, here we go. Thank you. Hello, Jack. You just got here? In a way, yeah. Okay. Did you get the scores yet? That is the toughest call in my heroic side of the this is going to be the, this might be the big upset of the night. And the Oscar goes to Michael Kidd. Yes!
that was the expected. Oh yes, very good. That was the expected result. This is and, much, and, a, and a beautiful performance. There's no doubt about it. Laugh at them when they get all excited. Oh, it was a jazzy score and very different than anything we've had in a while. John Carigliano. Whoa! Oh! I can't believe that. He can't believe it. Look, he's standing up. Look at me grabbing his That has to be. The, that is a beautiful moment. They have picked the complete upset of every upset. The movie is completely forgotten and he wins this award. Zach Stengel for The Matrix. Oh, boy, are they doing some sick shit. This is going to be the first year that the best picture winner did not win film editing in many, many years. And not only that, we now are in a position where the best picture race right now is up for grabs. Because American Beauty has not asserted itself in this show and has already lost the first two awards it's been up for. Although I do Very feel much. in the end it's yeah, really but the show's thing. not over because the fat lady Thank you, Larry is sick. Thank you, Larry Nanquist. The Oscar goes to... There we go. Alan Ball. Alan Ball. Hey, but that doesn't even mean anything, does it? The bird of Benini is about to... Uh, uh, a set the stage to give the award for this happiness. If he does not open that envelope and pull out the name of Hillary Spike, he's going to put a damper on the festivities for the evening because whether or not we sympathize with uh, Annette Benning to be pregnant or because she's in the year's best movie, the, fa the fact is that Hillary Spike gave the year's best performance. I'm pregnant. Wonderland premieres Thursday at 10 p.m. Central on ABC. Just about you want. You know why? Because we only disagreed on acting. Nobody asked you. <laughs> we only disagreed on acting. Oh, in the Oscar goes to. Hilary Swank! Yes! Yes! Yes, that's the correct choice. They didn't succumb on this, I give them credit. Justice has prevailed. My mom, who's up there somewhere. Look at her husband crying. It was like living out of our car was worth it. Okay, I Except love the performance of it. Get the bitch off the stage. And the Oscar goes to me. Come on, Kevin Space. Kevin Space. Yes! Oh, right. Yes! <laughs> That's the one. The Oscar goes to Sam Mendes for American Beauty. Oh, oh, we all know what the best picture is going to be now. Yeah, well, we know what's going to happen. Mm. The Oscar goes to American Beauty. I guess you're right. You can't yeah. separate. Yeah, very rare. Last year you'll separate. Oh, I know that, yeah. But it doesn't usually happen. The reason why I said to you I felt sorry for Denzel Washington, it wasn't his fault that the film brought historical accuracies out. It wasn't his fault. In other words, don't take it out on him. Not that I'm saying he gave a better performance than his face. They were both on the same level. But I mean, everyone knows that the, the historical inaccuracies was the way the film was made, you can blame it on Jewish and the screenwriter. I disagree with you. I thought Spacey gave the best performance of the year. Well, you, well, apparently there's a lot of people that agree with you. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I mean, you know. You think time. that I think Washington was better than Spacey? No, I said he was on the same level. Okay. I think that Farnsworth was best. I get, well, I have, you know, again, you know, uh, that's just where you and I, uh, I differentiate. But at the same time, I, I don't agree that uh, him and Denzel Washington were on the same plane. This is the same kind of shit that Denzel Washington has done a million times before. You know, Spacey, yeah, Spacey dug into his soul with this one. You know, the Matrix, the Matrix is that kind of technical film. Right. That it's so dazzling that you can't get, you can't not give that award to. You know. But they won in everything else that they deserve. Mm -hmm. Cinematography absolutely deserved that. Director certainly. You know, screenplay is one of the two best this and year.